Thank you for joining us at 5. I'm Andy Sirota. Keith Garvin is on assignment. And I'm Lisa Hernandez in for Daniela Guzman. The big announcement taking place today at Johnson Space Center's Ellington Field. Four astronauts called to the stage. Jeremy Hansen, Christina Koch, Victor Glover, and Reed Wiseman, who will orbit the moon for the Artemis II mission sometime next year. Glover and Koch will make history as the first person of color and first woman to be part of a moon mission. KPRC 2's Taisha Walker joins us from Ellington with all the details. Ladies and gentlemen, your Artemis II crew. They're NASA's final four. Christina Cook, Jeremy Hansen, Victor Glover, and Reed Wiseman. A new generation of astronauts that will help NASA pick up where the Apollo missions left off 50 years ago. Artemis, as we said, is the twin sister of Apollo. And for us, it was specifically chosen because we have women in our astronaut corps. But also, we have people of color. Johnson Space Center Director Vanessa White says it took NASA 10 months to scale down their astronaut corps for the historic Artemis II mission, which will orbit the dark side of the moon in 2024. We're going to hear the words, go for launch. On top of the most powerful rocket NASA's ever made, the Space Launch System. And we're going to ride that rocket for eight minutes into Earth orbit. We're not going to go to the moon right away. Mission specialist Cook is the first woman selected. She's also set a record as the only woman to spend the longest time in space. Glover, the first person of color, will serve as pilot. Weissman, who was most recently chief of astronauts, will be commander. And mission specialist Hansen will represent the Canadian Space Agency. We are going to the moon together. Let's go. Mike Foreman, former astronaut and current mayor of Friendswood, says he predicted all four of his former colleagues for the Artemis II mission. Knowing all of them and just kind of envisioning what I would do if I was getting to pick them, I was very lucky with my guesses, not so lucky with my NCAA predictions. NASA geologist and former commander Drew Feistel says every astronaut's dream is to go to the moon, but it's only in the stars for some. It's just amazing for all of us. I mean, sometimes you're not on the right place at the right time. Uh, as astronauts, we all want to have an opportunity to go to the moon. I think that's what we came for. But space station is uh, just as important. Coming up at six, state elected leaders react to this historic announcement and what they say this means for the space race against our foreign adversaries. Reporting from Rocket Park, Taisha Walker, KPRC, 2 News.